Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and I am still in Waco, Texas. Today is Saturday, July 12th, 2024, and I am at the Mayborn Museum on the campus of Baylor University. Let's see if we can find anything heavy metal other than these metal mammoths. So join me, and let's have the most epic adventures. Look at their eyes. Crazy. There's my mom. This is the executive producer for this adventure. She's the executive producer for this entire adventure. Drink plenty of water, Mom. Your Baylor water bottle. Yeah, it was free. Yeah, it was free. Here's Here are the hours. We are here before 5 p.m. They're closing all Baylor football games. That's something to keep in mind. And it started with a map. Here is the map of the Mayborn Museum here on the campus of Baylor University. First, you can check this in from the Houston area as well. Um, yeah, we got a lid on. Yeah, look at the dinosaur right here. Got, got a nice rotunda here. Sacred places. Nowhere in the United States, apparently. <laughs> Need to go to Rapa Nui. So, this is an exhibit of different religions from around the world. We are at a religious institution, so this is a, a way of them showing that we are open to all religions. Though I do not see the flying spaghetti monster here. Cool. 3D model. Have you been touched by the noodly appendage of the flying spaghetti monster yet? If not, let me show you the way. It's a reproduction of the Moai from Easter Island, Rapa Nui. So they're still making them. The ones that were taken are not, uh, it's not cool. Like there's a giant one in the British Museum. It should not be there. It should not be there. It belongs here. Rapa Nui, also known as Easter Island. So, much like the Houston Museum of Natural Science, they have a cabinet of curiosity. So, yeah, big mammoth skull. No, skull. So, this is this is uh, this is great. So, a lot of museums they have like random things. You can just put them in the case together and display them as a cabinet of curiosity. And what's in the drawer? Nothing. It's locked. <laughs> It's a, squirrel. It's, a squirrel. it's a golden eagle. Um, it's not really still. It is. It is dead. Giant tree. You can put. You can push buttons, and it'll tell you about Texas history that happened while this tree was alive before it was felled. The mammoth skull, the longhorn, taxidermy. Big things to the right here. We've got a giant humpback whale skull. Oh, thing is massive. Just look down here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Here's a topographical map of where we are in Texas. Can't. Oh, won't focus. But we're in the Brazos Valley. Welcome to Waco. The crossroads of Central Texas. There we go. So we're about an hour and a half from Dallas, about an hour and a half from Austin, about two and a, two hours and forty five minutes from uh, Houston. Far, oh, look at this! Crazy. Oh, and they show you how they do the excavation. One day I would love to do an excavation like this. Ancient marine reptile. 
Ooh, it's like an alligator. What a cool museum. The Cenozoic era in Texas. Look at that big turtle. That's a big turtle. So the Waco Mammoth National Monument is a couple miles from here. I actually went there before. Maybe I'll link that video in the script in the uh, end cards if I ever put end cards. But this is a reproduction. It's a cast of it. A cast. This is cool because the real thing you can't walk over. Yeah. Yeah, the real one you just kind of look at it from from a ways away. This is cool that we can walk on it. They have, they have the pole going right through it. It's okay. It's a cast. Those are. But yeah, it's cool to go check it out. Just down the road. It's like a baby elephant. The emergence of man. We came and ruined everything. Look at the hut. Ooh. Living with the land. My mom asked if that is a real one that is stuffed, and yes, it is. Taxidermy. Um, they are. This is a this is a young one. This is a young one. They get they're they're huge. They are huge. But yeah, in this museum, you're gonna see lots of taxidermy animals. You won't see any live ones. Some yeah, sometimes they have fake ones. They have models like this village here. The Hutto Mounds are in East Texas. Not too, not too far from here, relatively speaking. Here's a taxidermied longhorn. Yeah, the little little house on the prairie. This is uh, what you call now a tiny home, Mom. A tiny home. Tiny home. People are paying quarter million dollars for something like this now. You can't get little. <laughs> cooking area. Yeah, that's all you need. And you poop outside in the outhouse in the hole in the dirt. <laughs> There's a village out here with like old houses and stuff like that. We're going to skip that part of the tour. It is a bit warm. We're going to stay inside where it's nice and air conditioned. It's a nice painting on the wall. Someone painted directly onto the sheetrock there. Very good job. They don't even have the name. Oh yeah, they do have the name. Right there. It's been here for 12 years. Mom was like, oh, there's another one. And then they put a fire alarm right in the middle of it. But very cool. Yeah. I like that. And he, yeah, here's a wing dedicated to Baylor stuff. I mean, it is part of the, the uh, we are on the campus. They do own this museum, so of course they're gonna have their things here. <laughs> so this Baylor line shirt. This is what all the all the students run out at the beginning of the game, and of course their football jersey. They played in the Texas Bowl in Houston. NRG Stadium. That was damaged by the hurricane. Okay. Yeah, the roof got messed up. There's Judge Baylor there. He was behind a bunch of construction when we took the tour. And then we saw a hat like this at a Goodwill. <laughs> sure did. That was an antique one, I guess. Uh -huh. So here's Stan. Or the backside of Stan. He's loaned by the Perot Museum of Nat Nature and Science in Dallas. So they sent this one down here to be the centerpiece. We do have tornadoes here. This is where you can escape them. 
we got a model train set up here. There's nothing like uh, a miniature Wonderland. Oh, yeah. wow. But it's still cool. You push a button to make the trains go. Okay, push the yellow button. There's the train. One one little train engine. Not even a little tornado machine here, Mom. Poke the tornado. Go away, Hurricane. Go away. <laughs> I said, this this is a really good place to bring kids. Yeah. Thank you for bringing me, Mom. <laughs> See an overhead shot of the model. Yeah, just that one little train engine's moving around. And the kid hits the button. That's it. That's it. It's a nice model, though. Not huge, but still nice. No climbing. Oh, what is it? We got dinosaurs in here? Oh, hey! to hang out with some dinosaurs yeah we got to stay in the green okay. yeah check it out dinosaurs are hanging out <laughs> how cool is that look at those little guys <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Mom, you're gonna pull on the weight here. It's a lifting lever. lever. Oh, it's not that hard. <laughs> yeah, you're strong, Mom. You're strong. Hey. <laughs> Just let it down. There's a lot of interactive stuff here. There's a lot of cool, cool things. We saw some little girls having a little tea party. There's a birthday room. But yeah, it's the paper's gone. But I don't want to record a bunch of children. There you go, Mom. You can lift that. 25 pounds. Yeah, you can do it. So it's a levy. Le it's a pulley. It's supposed to make it easy. Oh yeah. There's a. You only go so far. They don't want you to hurt yourself. They don't want you to get a hernia, Mom. <laughs> like I was saying, up here on the second floor. There's a, a lot of interactive things, um, some like little tea rooms, arts and crafts rooms for children. And I'm not going to, I don't want to record the children. So just know that they're here. You can see, I'm sure on the website, you can see the it different things you can do as well. But yeah, it's, just it's for a second or if you're in the Dallas area or you're in the Austin area, I think it's worth a drive down to come down here. Even if you're in the Houston area and you are... Yeah, making a day trip out of it. It's, it's nice so far, especially if you have kids. And again, thanks mom for bringing her kid. <laughs> There's a SpaceX exhibit. Elon Musk. SpaceX does a lot of stuff here in Texas, down by South Padre Island. Here's their engine, their Merlin engine. Wow. Never seen one of those before, so there you go. That's something. Rigamajig. There's stuff all over the place. Yeah, and then they can ride on it. Got a Rube Goldberg machine. He's, getting, he's going, there's a little monkey. He's a monkey helping turn it. It's about projections. Make different shapes. Things like that. Oh, the sounds. Before we exit through the gift shop, I will give you an aerial view. Looks like they have uh, typical uh, museum things in here. Will they have a sticker and a pen for me? That is the question. All right, here's a better look at the rotunda and Stan and the metal topographical map. That's gotta be the most metal thing here. 
the metal topographical map of Texas. We go up and you see the top of the dome. In this angle anyway. But yeah, Stan, little little T-Rex on loan from the Pro Museum in Dallas. All right, mom, that. mom loves these geodes. Yeah, the but he's gonna can... he's gonna do it. They're gonna do it right here in the gift shop. Watch your eyes, folks. Well, he's gonna close it up. Probably. You gonna close this up? Yes, yes, oh, I am. Okay. For safety, for safety reasons. For safety. Some of the denser ones will legitimately are so dense that when they try to crack, there will be sparks that fly off of them. Oh, yeah. Oh. No sparks. No sparks. But there you go, those are pretty rocks. Oh, that's awesome. The crystals that live inside. It's weird how they can tell, like, on the rock on the outside that there's gonna be crystals inside. But you have a bag? It's science. Of course. <laughs> All right, I got a sticker and sparking curiosity. That was the whole second floor with uh, all the kids stuff. Really, really cool. So if you do have little ones, I would highly recommend taking the day trip here to the Mayborn Museum on the campus of Baylor University. Um, thanks, Mom, for bringing your kid here. Yeah, <laughs> um, I mean, this is our refugee vacation. Yeah, you know, our really hurricane, good. our hurricane vacation. So we're here trying to. Trying to make the best of it. Yeah, mom, mom got her geode. So there you go. That was cool, right? That was cool. Stan's cool. Um, but yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it's worth the price of admission. So I guess until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> what did you want to say, mom? I said you didn't let me get in the in shot. Oh, okay, well there you go. And somebody liked my Hello Kitty Astros hat. Slap a like for mom's Hello Kitty Astros hat. Look at that. Did you know Hello Kitty was an Astros fan? <laughs> <laughs>